Hi, I'm Robert with Covert Armor. We're here today to shoot the F1 Universal Fire Carrier, our one-size-fits ballistic vest uh, that we designed specifically for fire and EMS with our Shadow Level 3A ballistics. We're going to shoot it in the carrier with the 3A panels, no rifle plates or anything else. Uh, we're shooting it on a clay backing. We're going to shoot various different rounds, uh, some that go that exceed Level 3A protection, others that fall in line from a 44 mag. Uh, 357 mag, 357 sig, various 9mm, 40 and 45 caliber rounds. And from there, we're just going to keep shooting until we take this thing to failure. We appreciate y'all viewing. Uh, if you need anything from us along the way, you can catch us on covertarmor.com. We have a YouTube channel now, Covert Armor, uh, and our direct phone number is 844-COVERT-1. That's 844-268-3781. We're going to start our shoot with the NIJ round, the 240 grain JHP. Now we're going to shoot the 357 Magnum with a 125 grain gold dot hollow point, as well as a 158 grain gold dot hollow point. Now we're going to shoot the 357 SIG 125 grain jacketed hollow point and full metal jacket. Next up will be the Winchester 127 plus P plus and the 147 grain from Winchester, both black talon rounds. Next up are 45 caliber gold dot hollow points, a 200 grain plus P and a 230 grain. Next up is our 40 caliber with gold dot hollow points, 180 grain and a full metal jacket in one and the gold dot hollow point will be the second shot. We're going back to the 9mm now. We're going to be shooting 227 grain plus P plus Winchesters as well as 247 grain. All right, we're going to do two more with the 44 mag, 240 grain JHP. All right, we're back to the 357 Magnum. We're going to shoot 258 grain gold dot hollow points and 225 grain gold dot hollow points. <clears throat> if you were watching that closely, all four were right here together. A little bit more blunt trauma on these, but no penetration. We're back at the 357 SIG. This time we're going to shoot two Federal 125 grain full metal jackets and two 125 grain hydroshock rounds. Okay, we're back to the 45, two 230 grain full metal jacket and two 230 grain Ranger SXT. A little bit more spread out. 
Once again, minimal back face, no penetration. Okay, we're back at the 40. We've got three CCI full metal jacket rounds and three 180 grain gold dot hollow points. No penetration. It's not very often I do this, but I decided we're going to shoot a couple of 12 gauge rounds at it. One will be double lock buck, and the other is going to be a one ounce slug. Okay, now we're going to go to the double lock buck. All right, let's look at all the damage that was done to the vest now. As you can see, the fabric gets torn because of the abrasiveness of the clay block as the bullets impact it more so with the two 12 gauge rounds that as you look here were roughly three inches apart on the two, the one out slug and the double out buck shot. As we pull the vest apart here, you can actually see that nothing penetrated from the backside. And as we flip it over, you can see the bullets that have actually dropped towards the bottom and have started coming out as as well as the wad and everything for the the 12 gauge rounds and here is the slug which barely even broke the surface of the vest as you can see it kind of mushrooms out and flattens all the other rounds as you can see wind up dropping down to the bottom so once again in closing here today as you've seen most of the rounds they barely even scratch the surface some sit inside within a few layers underneath the underneath the first few layers of the ballistics um, all of our vests are NIJ compliant and listed on the CPL, as well as being NFPA 3000 uh, compliant. So if you have any questions, uh, please don't hesitate to contact our website, covertarmor.com. You can give us a call at 844-COVERT-1, which is 844-268-3781. We usually respond within about 24 hours, uh, as well as you can comment down here in this section on the video. Uh, ask any questions you like on the video. We'll be happy to respond to you. Uh, just to give you an idea, most of these rounds were not NIJ rounds. There was really only a couple that were NIJ rounds. Uh, so a lot of these fall into the special threat testing that we do on these products during the NIJ testing. Um, all the different rounds, we've got numerous others that we've shot. Most extreme, obviously, though, was the 12-gauge one-ounce slug and double-op buckshot. But we really appreciate everything and all of our customers. Um, we'd like to thank the city of Houston for accidentally destroying this vest for us so that we could bring it out here today and shoot it for you, as well as Guns and Range Training Center here in West Palm Beach for donating the time here at their range for us to get inside and put this little shoot together for y'all. Thank y'all a bunch and have a good day.